welcome to this platform so in this one let us look at acid base and salt so you're going to answer our questions on acid base and salt and let us see the questions that we have so the first question here is coming from a certain year and of course this is b4 the question is that the, the question is that uh, study the reaction scheme below as you can see the reaction scheme we have in the first box here a uh, dilute sulfuric acid and of course here there's magnesium metal producing salt a plus gas b the first question that is a of roman numero one identify the substance a and b identify the substance a and b now acid base and salt one of the things that you need to know you just start from a scratch defining what an acid is and of course examples of acids we have mineral acids and organic acid on each you should know examples okay those are the basics that you need to know about acid base and salt i mean acids then of course you need to know how to define a salt and of course a uh, different way you can prepare our salts all those parts i think you need to know them but for this one we are given specifically a sulfuric acid reacting with the metal to produce uh, a salt and of course gas b and now the other thing that you need to know is that when an acid react with a metal what is produced normally is a salt and of course a gas hydrogen so therefore the salt that is produced as you know the first part of the name come from the metal so the metal is magnesium the metal is magnesium then of course the end part come from the uh, acid and of course for sulfuric acid it becomes sulfate so the um the salt a is magnesium sulfate linda kai said this reaction produces hydrogen gas so this one you can write hydrogen gas so that is the answer to a and of course b magnesium sulfate that is roman numeral of two i roman numeral two of a magnesium sulfate is an ionic compound yes write the chemical formula of all the ions that forms magnesium sulfate so we have magnesium sulfate here which is mgh if you are to write the chemical formula okay and this is made from magnesium positive ion and of course sulfate negative ion so the two ions are mg positive and of course sulfate negative so these are the two ions write the balanced chemical equation showing the state symbols for the reaction between magnesium and dilute sulfuric acid so two marks so we are going to say magnesium which is solid is a metal some of you have a problem when it comes to identifying a state symbols or putting up state symbols so all the metals are in a solid state and of course we have sulfuric acid so you should know the chemical formula is of uh, four strong acids that is nitric acid phosphoric acid we have sulfuric acid we have also hydrochloric acid so these you should know them by heart because in the questions they will never be given so these are the common that you can uh, go with so it is reacting with sulfuric acid which is h2s uh, four this is aqueous acids that are used are diluted as you can see dilute so it's aqueous so some amount of water there then now to produce what is produced a salt so a salt is a compound that is formed when the metal ion positive ion react with uh, the negative ion from the acid or you can say the magnesium would displace the hydrogen here and of course magnesium and sulfate to react magnesium has a valence of uh, two and of course sulfate has a radical valence of two and therefore we are going to have magnesium uh, sulfate which is aqueous and of course plus hydrogen uh, which is a gas so these are the state symbols now the question is write the balanced is it balanced 
So to balance the equation, we need to check the atoms. Is magnesium or the atoms on the reactant side, which is this side of the arrow, and of course the other part. So magnesium here you have one, magnesium you have one. Hydrogen you have two, hydrogen you have two there. Sulfur, sulfur uh, means sulfur we have one, sulfur we have one. Oxygen we have four, oxygen we have four. So this, the way it is, it is balanced. Okay? Then of course sometimes you'll be asked to write the net ionic equation. So for net ionic equation, you split those that are in aqua state. Let me just try to put it here, although we are not asked the question. So you split those that are in aqueous state. Those that are in solid, liquid, and other forms or other state, you leave them. So which means on the reactant side, we're just going to split sulfuric acid. And when you split, this one is going to be two hydrogen ions, which are aqueous plus uh, a sulfate ion. Okay? Here we have plus magnesium. Then of course the other side magnesium sulfate. We are going to split it so it will be Mg uh, positive. Then uh, plus sulfate negative. Then of course plus H2O. Okay? I mean uh, just hydrogen. Then of course you cancel out spectator ions and those are the ones that are found on the uh, reactant and of course the, the, the product side. Then whatever remains you write them that is the uh, net ionic um, equation. So this I was just giving an example. So on this particular part you make sure that you know it because that is one of the potential questions that you expect when such question comes okay i guess you get to revise on that part name the acid that is found in sour milk so sour milk is also called lacto lacto milk i guess lacto milk so sour milk contain what we call lactic acid so that is the acid that you find there but in addition to that you need to know the acid that is found in fruits let's say uh, orange, lemons, and all those. Okay, you need to know the acid that is found in the fruits. Then you need also to know the acid that is found, uh, which other one that we can talk of. Um, okay, so we've talked of fruits, lemons, and all those. Okay, so in other words, you should be able to know uh, different types of, uh, I mean, acids that are found in different uh, beet fruits, uh, plants, and all that. Okay, very important. Okay, so here is the second question. Now, for this one, chem section C, which means it's a question that gives us uh, 20 marks, I mean 10 marks. As you know, section C, uh, you answer uh, two questions of the three. Is it? Answer in two questions from this section. Okay, so now, this is the question that came in a certain year as well. So, the following diagram shows, or the following scheme shows some reactions of dilute acid A. As you can see, dilute acid A here on top, I'm sure it's visible. Then, of course, you are seeing the scheme here. You follow where the arrows are going. Here, there's copper 2 oxide. There's magnesium. There's substance uh, B. Name, name and give the formula of the dilute acid A. So here there are two parts of the question. Name and formula. So dilute acid A, how do we identify it? So you need to know that when an acid reacts with a metal, what is produced is a salt and hydrogen. If we had a salt here, we would look at what is the end part of the name. So that can help us. Let us look at substance B. When substance B reacts with the dilute acid A, what is formed is sodium sulfate. So already we have a crew. Because of this sulfate, we know that this can only be sulfuric acid. So now the acid is sulfuric acid. And of course, the formula is 2. That is sulfuric acid. Substance B and C. So even substance B and C, you are putting the name out of course the formula. What is substance B? Now for substance B, you look at the products. 
you need to know the general reactions. When a base react with an acid, what is produced is a salt and water. Depending with what kind of a base that you are dealing with in terms of names. So the first part of the uh, salt, the first part in terms of names, the first part shows the uh, base and of course the end, uh, the acid. So here we are talking of substance B. Substance B when it was reacted with the dilute acid of which we said is sulfuric acid, so we know where the name sulfate is coming from. But of course, the first part is sodium. So this one can only be sodium hydroxide. So sodium hydroxide. That is the uh, B. So B, sodium hydroxide. And of course, sodium hydroxide in terms of the formula is like that. So this is for B. Then for C, what about C? Where is C? So C is right here. When an acid react with magnesium, this is a salt and of course hydrogen. So this is sulfuric acid and magnesium. We are going to have magnesium uh, sulfate. So this is magnesium what? Sulfate. And the chemical formula is um, MgSO4. Uh, okay. Construct the balanced chemical equation for the reaction between uh, substance B and dilute acid A. So what are we reacting? Here we identified B to be sodium hydroxide and of course uh, A to be sulfuric acid. So simply sulfuric acid and sodium hydroxide, the chemical formula. So let us do it from here. So we have sodium hydroxide which is aqueous plus sulfuric acid or react with sulfuric acid aqueous then now what are you going to produce this is acid base reaction what is produced is salt and water so this sodium displaces the hydrogen here and of course you're going to have sodium sodium has a valence of one and of course sulfate two so you're going to have sodium uh, sulfate written as this so please, if you have a problem on this part, make sure that you do it before the exams because this part itself, it will save you in more concept and of course on this part. So plus or producing uh, salt and water, which is a liquid. This is aqueous, aqueous, aqueous. Okay, so we've written the uh, chemical equation. But the question is, is it balanced? Because here I said a balanced chemical equation for the reaction between substance B and A. So let us check sodium 1, sodium 2. So we put a 2 in front of sodium. So sodium 2. What about oxygen? So 2 multiplied by uh, oxygen here 2 plus this 4. So we have 6 oxygen this side. This side how many oxygen? We have uh, 2 then 1. We can put a 2 here. So 4 uh, oxygen. Then hydrogen multiply that. That is a 2 plus 2 giving us a 4. Hydrogen is a 4. Sulfur 1, sulfur 1. So this is the balanced equation. Okay. Then of course, Loma numeral 2. So this part we are done. That is the 2 marks. Then of course, this inert ionic equation for the reaction. So what do we do? We split what is in aqua state. So if we are to split what is in aqua state, this splitting this one so this is where most of you make problems when splitting so when splitting this this two that is multiplying even also you put a two sodium ion plus a two hydroxide ion then of course plus this is also in aqueous two this two hydrogen ion plus sulfate okay then of course um the other side you have two sodium, two sodium ion plus sulfate ion. Then of course, I think that is it. Here you can write two H two O. Okay, so you cancel out spectator ions, and those are the ones that are found on both reactant and product. So here I can see sodium, I can see sodium, I can see sulfate, I can see sulfate. What remains the other side? Let me just try to bring it here for a sake of space. What remains is two hydroxide ion uh, plus two 
hydrogen ion all these are aquas aquas and of course the other side what remains is two water molecules so that is the part that you need this part and i guess no one has a problem on this particular part so please like i said uh, there's a video on uh, how to write the chemical equation how to balance them the concept of valences and all that is right here on this platform you might need to check it out let us look at the last question now i can remove this part so for the last question is that state the type of reaction that occurs uh in uh, b1 so what type of reaction that occurs here so the type of reaction is called a neutral uh neutralization reaction so neutralization reaction okay that is the kind of a uh, reaction and why is it called neutralization reaction because um acid and base neutralizes each other and of course they produce neutral uh products that is salt and water so that is it all right so that is what i have for today and of course if you are interested to join uh, the lesson for next year that is uh, gce you are free to contact the number 09 uh, 0976 402563 the better uh, it is better to start early the area the better okay considering the uh, amount of information that you need to know before then don't be that kind of elena who start lessons in um the last minute you might waste your time and also your resources so please and also if you are writing sg uh, that is igc uh, IGCSE, uh, Cambridge or GSE, uh, GCSE, okay? That is February, uh, March. As you prepare also, you can consider joining us for lessons, okay? So please get in touch on this number. Otherwise, see you in the next one.